In this video, we're going to look at a very popular shortcut that can be used to multiply a very special case of binomials. When we've got the binomial a plus b times the binomial a minus b, let's look what happens if we multiply it out using our FOIL method. If we multiply the first times the first, a times a, we get a squared. On the outside, a times negative b is negative a b. On the inside, b times a, if we make that alphabetical, is positive a b. And finally, the last is b times negative b, or negative b squared. You may notice, then, that the two middle terms are like terms. Negative a b plus a b are nice, because they subtract out to 0, which means for our final answer, we're just left with a squared minus b squared. And you may notice that a squared minus b squared really came from multiplying the first terms together. Let me use a different color. The first terms together, a times a, and the last terms together, b times negative b. The other terms all subtracted out to 0. We call this a sum and different shortcut. If the binomials are exactly the same, except one has a plus, one has a minus, we will only need to multiply the first and last terms. Again, this shortcut only works if the numbers are exactly the same, the terms are exactly the same, with the only difference being one is a plus, one is a minus in the middle. So, for example, when we see x plus 5, x minus 5, we'll notice, hey, those are exactly the same, except one has a plus, one has a minus. This is a sum and a difference. All we have to do is multiply the first times the first, x times x is x squared, and the last times the last, 5 times negative 5 is negative 25, and we're done, because all the other terms will subtract out to 0. Looking at example 2, again, we notice we have the exact same terms, 5x minus 2, 5x plus 2. The only difference is 1's minus, 1's plus. We have a sum and difference again. So again, with sum and difference, we only have to multiply the first two, 5x times 5x is 25x squared, and the last two, negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, and we'll have our final solution, 25x squared, minus 4. Again, be very careful that this shortcut only works when the numbers match, with the only difference being 1 has a plus, 1 has a minus. If the terms match, we can use the sum and different shortcut of only multiplying the first and last. We could also get the same answers by doing the full FOIL process. However, in the future, as you continue to work through your mathematics, you're going to find knowing the shortcut is very advantageous, especially in the next unit we see. So take the time to practice this shortcut and understand how it works, because it's going to be a very large advantage to us in future units.